ultra. Are we going ultra and ultra? <laughs> so these aren't exactly identical, but they're very similar. It'll be interesting to see the mediums on the two fans. Well, these are both PSC, right? Uh, so this is post uh, medium issue. Oh, era. yeah. Although this one is Wait. old. This one's much older. Yeah. No, this one is uh, shaded foam. Yep. So this is actually the more rare one here. Yes. These, these are known to exist. This one is very uncommon. So this one is probably 98, 99. I think you are correct. Uh, it says 2000, oh. 2000 2001. So oh. this, this was, was very late correct. in the Marco motor. This is a model 3750. That's probably like the last of the Marco motors at that point. This would have been yeah. very, very much towards the end. Can you keep it down over there? And this one, this one I got from Van. This one is uh, 07, 08. 1.1 amp. So this is kind of past the era where these are very strong. Mm -hmm. This is still a good fan, but it's probably comparable to the um, Weather Shield Select. Right. This is almost the same exact thing in a different color. What kind of fan is this? Box. <laughs> sheep is getting a work. Sounds like a farm in here. It does. <laughs> You know what else produces uh, a good ice cream? A farm. <laughs> it's true. Have you ever been to the Ben and Jerry's factory? No. Oh, that's that ice cream is next level. I've been to the the ice cream shop factory. Oh, that's pretty good. So this potentially could have a busted. I can't believe this has a Marco motor. It's so much more interesting now. This could have a busted medium. This will not have a busted medium. We'll start with the non-busted medium. Now this sounds to me like this has the flimsier blade and a more powerful motor. This is running very fast. That's not a typical configuration of it. Of course it's the balance, it's just the process on this. Yeah, this should have had the better the better blade on Absolutely. it. Absolutely. I wonder yeah. if this was a mistake, a factory error of some kind. You can tell it's running way too fast. Absolutely. This is. I think this is the same way that stupid Air King one is built, though. You're. You're. Yeah. That's what drives me crazy. It's about too it. loud. It's unusable. I really. That's why I put those other blades on it. Mm. Well, it's powerful. You just have to have severe hearing loss to be able to put up with it. Well, you might already be deaf from the yeah, 2725. <laughs> oh man, that, that's summer to me. There's nothing that says summer like that side. We got those in, my grandfather bought three of those 3733s for 99. Yep. And that's what we had. As long as I can remember. Actually, the medium is pretty reasonable Not on this bad. though. No, that's that's about a hundred percent where it should be. Good. Okay. Yeah, the medium yeah, is fine. Oh yeah. Medium. Wow, that's almost silent on low. Except for that. <laughs> yeah, the medium is is a hundred percent in this one. Good. I, I can recognize that sound anywhere, which is unusual for this. To, it to sure is. Good. I think this thing had low hours on it when I got it. No talking during the startup sound. I can't tell you how many thousands of times I've heard that over the years. <laughs> you got lucky on this one. I did. The motor is still good. I don't know what causes it to break or what causes you, it to come back. I have no clue. Do you think it's hours because no. I think this has low hours. On I've it. pulled them brand new out of the box and really? the medium is busted up. Huh. Generally speaking, I find the more beat up and used something is, the better it works. Yeah. Especially with electronics. Yeah. Stuff doesn't like to sit. No, it does not. I 
actually it might not be a hundred percent because it, it took the bump to hide to get it yeah. up. But it's that could just be dry bearings. Mm -hmm. It's not bad. Yeah, I've not served this fan. I think these are some of the most powerful plastic box games there were. I think so. That is very strong. I can feel the air kicking back around the room like with the other two. Yeah, it's moving all the way back there. Very, very strong. Yeah, I think the old one sounds better. Yeah, it definitely sounds better, but the airflow, it doesn't make a difference. I think this one moves more. Not much. Well, we got a tool for that. Yes. It's over at the end of the difference. Really? That's the ASC difference. The ASC is 0.97. The other one is 1.97. 174 watts versus 106. Wow. So, that's a lot cooler. This, this is so much more efficient than the ASC motor. And it moves about the same amount of air. I like the look of the wider struts. Yeah, these look nice too. This has a faster low, but I prefer a slower low anyway. Me too. Well, that's a pretty cool pair. That's I great. didn't realize that one had the Marco motor. Yeah, that's very interesting. It's funny how Lasco tends to reincarnate old designs. Mm -hmm. This this was more or less on the market for over 20 years. Mm -hmm. In 97 through about 2017, I think was the last year the Weather Shield Select was sold. The Weather Shield Select is exactly the same as this in a different color. There's no difference. I don't know what that one was ever tagged Weather Shield or not. It might not have been. But then that's interesting because that would have sold alongside that same years. What year is that? That's '98. That's also okay. So yeah, there, there, from like '97 to 2001, there were so many models that were just like parts thrown together just to, to use them up. I guess. Yes, and it's very confusing. I think it's confusing to the consumer. Like, like, what is why? Yeah, it would have been because you would have had all these weird different, probably different models in different regions too. Mm -hmm. Still also half. It's 54 watts versus 91. Wow. Whoa. So no no comparison in terms of uh, power consumption. And I don't think this is the bearing as uh, bearings have ever been serviced on this at all, and it kind of shows there. Yeah. Has this this one has not been serviced either though. Oh. But it's also newer, so. Right, and I I will say one of the things that Lasco does do correctly is the motors seem to ship with adequate lubrication I would agree. still. 